Dr. Doug Lucas here, retired orthopedic surgeon, now focusing my practice on health span and bone health. Eggs are awesome. I love eggs to eat, but I get questions about whether or not people should use egg shells as a source of calcium if they have osteoporosis. And I am all for using the whole animal, including the eggs. Um, but we have to ask ourselves the question, if we know so much about calcium, which we do, and we know that there are risks of taking too much calcium, should we be consuming egg shells as part of our diet and then consider this as our source of calcium? So stick around. We're going to talk about this, the nutrition, the calcium component, and whether or not this should be a part of a comprehensive bone health program. Okay, so the egg, which I tell my patients is one of nature's multivitamins. The egg is an awesome source of both macronutrients and micronutrients. One of those is calcium. The macronutrient complex is really cool behind an egg because it has between six and seven grams of protein. And you guys probably know that I really like a protein forward diet. Um, and it has about five grams of fat for what would be a medium sized egg. So it's really important though that you understand where your eggs come from mostly because of the fat part of this, also the micronutrients. We raise our own chickens. These are, this was an egg that was laid in my backyard. Um, we have about a dozen chickens. It gives us about 10 eggs a day. My family eats a lot of eggs. And if my patients uh, do well with eggs, meaning that they don't have gut dysfunction as a result of eating eggs, then we recommend eggs for them too. But we feed our chickens a very specific feed that is non-GMO and is corn and soy free so that my hens are eating the same kind of stuff that I want to eat. Because like any white meat, if you're talking about the meat part, what a animal with a single stomach will pass on to you are the contents of their diet. So that's true for chickens. If you're eating chicken meat, that's true for pork. If you're eating pork meat, because they only have one stomach, whatever they eat, you get some of that too. So if they're eating GMO anything, you're gonna get some GMO stuff. If that stuff has been sprayed with any kind of uh, fertilizer or pesticide, you're gonna get some of that too. So you really wanna know what's going into your meat and also what's going into your eggs. So when it comes to micronutrients though, what we're gonna talk about is calcium. Um, but it also has a tremendous amount of B vitamins. It has a lot of other minerals, including things like selenium. It has iron, potassium, zinc, magnesium. It has a fair amount of choline. And we, I talk a lot to my patients, both my bone health and my health optimization patients about choline. We require a fair amount of choline to keep a biomarker called homocysteine in check. So choline is really important, and this is the best dietary source of choline there is. A couple of other fancy ones that are found in eggs and not in a lot of other sources are lutein and zeaxanthin. So these are um, kind of eye and some longevity hacks that people will use to add to their supplement stack. Now, a couple of vitamin things in eggs that I want to point out. Eggs are one of the best sources of vitamin D, which we know is difficult to get enough through diet, and we often end up supplementing. But it's also a great source of vitamin A. Now, vitamin A is important because when most people think of vitamin A, they're thinking of um, yellow and orange vegetables. They're thinking of beta carotene. But eggs have the actual active form, so the palmitate form of vitamin A. So this is a genetically dependent thing, but some people do not convert the plant form to the animal form. So some people do a lot better consuming more of the vitamin A in animal form or supplementing that form, although it's relatively hard to find. Okay, well, what about the calcium? So the calcium in egg shells is mostly calcium carbonate. And you've probably heard me talk about calcium in other videos how we can take too much calcium. If we take too much, it increases the risks of heart attack. So we have to be careful with calcium. We know that calcium carbonate, when taken as a supplement, is not particularly well absorbed. I have not seen any studies about the absorption of calcium carbonate coming from a natural form, like an eggshell. I don't really know that it would be any better, but we have to assume that it's calcium carbonate, it's probably not really well absorbed. The other thing about this is there is about two grams that's 2,000 milligrams of calcium in one eggshell. So if you're taking an eggshell and you're crushing it up and you're putting it in your food, that's a lot of calcium. You know, most of our patients are somewhere between 250, you know, maybe upwards of 400, 600 if they don't get much calcium in their diet. 
If you're getting over 1,000 or 2,000, those are the amounts of calcium carbonate and citrate that were found in the studies when taken alone that do increase the risk of heart attack. So we do need to be careful there. Other aspects to consider when it comes to eggs as a source of calcium is that eggs do have the potential to be contaminated. So you really need to process it well. You would have to boil this for a long period of time to actually destroy all of the potential pathogens on an eggshell and then process it. So there's some work that would have to be done in order to use eggshells adequately and safely as a form of calcium. So should we be eating eggs in a comprehensive bone health plan? I think probably not. It sounds cool, I love the idea of it, but I think realistically, if we want to get the best forms of calcium that has evidence to support its growth in our bones um, and maximizing bone mineral density and improving bone strength, I think probably we need to stick to the things that we like most, which is microcrystalline hydroxyapatite complex that has a nice array of the bone proteins that go along with that microcrystalline hydroxyapatite calcium. So I think that's probably the best form of calcium. As much as I love an egg, I don't think I'm gonna crush it up and use it as a calcium supplement. So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe and then like and share this with anybody who you think would really benefit from it. If you wanna learn more about how we manage osteoporosis, look for the link to our masterclass in the description below. And lastly, I wanna hear from you. I love the comments, the back and forth, the community that we've created on YouTube. So please leave comments below. Let us know what topics you wanna to hear. I'll see you soon.